then we'll open it up to questions. Uh, well, the one thing I've always talked about all year is hopefully, um, you know, the process and making progress. And uh, I know it, it's not showing up in the wins and losses, but uh, we had been averaging like 20-something turnovers a game, and tonight we had nine. So that's a step in the right direction. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't. We didn't win the game, but uh, we had 15 assists and nine turnovers, and uh, we actually held them to 36% in the second half. We almost held them under 40%, uh, which is a very efficient team. We shot 47%, but we didn't do uh, anything on the boards. We let them get 14 offensive rebounds, um, which basically did us in. Questions? Actually, the message wasn't any different than what it's always been. Defend and rebound. Real, yeah, I know that sounds very, um, you know, well, give me more, coach. I, I would like to. Um, but the message has never changed. And, and sometimes it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of the same statement uh, maybe to sink in. We have been, you know, I've also talked about our, us being inconsistent, like sometimes we'll guard in the first half and then not in the second, or not in the second and guard, you know, vice versa. So you never know when it clicks, and may, maybe it is starting to click. I, I don't know. Um, but the, the message hasn't changed, right? Because you could say, oh, coach, well, what did you tell the guys to only have nine turnovers? We were right there to maybe only have seven turnovers, you know what I mean? Well, how does that happen? Well, the message hasn't changed. It's just I think the guys are becoming more comfortable on what they're looking for and what maybe uh, the most dangerous passes to stay away from um, has helped. They just pursued the ball. Uh, they pursued the ball, I would say, is the difference. Uh, most teams don't pursue it, meaning the shot goes up, especially offensively. When the shot goes up, most teams will just turn and look at the, uh, the rim. But they're running, and then it's coming off the rim, and then they're tracking the ball down. And we weren't doing that. And th that was the difference. Kind of going off of that, it seemed like a pretty physical game more than normal, especially like for Ashton mm -hmm. and some other players. How would you just by Ashton, yeah. I thought Ashton was I thought Ashton was great. You know, he didn't play much in the first half, uh, but he had a really good stint in the second half for us. Um, he was five for six from three, which I mean, excuse me, five for six from the free throw line, which was great. Um, you know, he had seven points, um, he had three rebounds, but he was in there trying to battle. Um, he's he's coming along, he's coming along. Coach, talk about um, Jalen James, uh, putting in there a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought Jalen was great. Um, I just was on the radio outside, and they had asked me, you know, why, you know, he played a lot tonight, you know, why. Uh, you know, he had been uh, hurt a little bit uh, for the season. You know, he kind of like, he hurt his hip at Bowling Green, and that kind of slowed him down for a while. And then he hurt his ankle, I think it was like maybe two or three games ago. So he was still kind of in and out in terms of being healthy. And um, we had a situation, obviously, where we just played San Diego State, and they beat us pretty good. We were in the locker room after, and um, you know he basically stood up to each guy in our team, and he had tears in his eyes, and he went right at each guy, and he basically let them know how much he cared, and all of the things that he's experienced here, all of those emotions came out, and um, I think that helped our team understand that one of their comrades and the person that they look up to uh, was hurting inside based on the performance or lack thereof that he was looking at and he didn't want us to stand for that and that's the reason why he played a lot tonight because I think he's earned that right to be able to talk like that. Yes coach uh, going off that score you just quoted at the end first off quite shocked to hear that and I hope it was okay but do you feel that with the way that with, with the record that the team has now and going over six now in that list that you feel that 
they're buying into what you're telling them? Yeah, I do. So, so do you believe that they're, they are trusted, do you feel that they're trusting the process like you said, do you feel that they're... Uh, yes, I do. I think, I think our guys are trusting the process. If you look at the num, you look at it and you say, that, "Well, you're all in six, but the guys are. We had 15 assists and nine turnovers. Something that you like to talk about a lot. Okay. Correct. Right. Yeah, so. You like to, yeah, you do. So we had 15 assists and nine turnovers. So that's a lot better than the 20 that we've had. That I also have to sit up here and right take as a coach. Right. So we do have some buy-in and we do have a situation where guys still believe in what we're trying to do it's a long process very long process it starts in year one and whenever it ends then it ends but the guys believe in what we're trying to do and it, it will come around any other questions coach uh Falcon senior guard uh Trevor Lyons said he's had a couple of uh, career highs against this part of the team mm -hmm. um, Uh, yeah, I think we didn't do anything special. Again, just like you asked me, did I tell them anything different, you know, halftime? The message is always the same. You guard and you defend. Now, if you want to get into scouting and, you know, how do you guard someone? Do you stay close to this guy? Do you stay closer to that guy? Yes, that can happen if he's a really good catch-and-shoot guy, maybe. Um, but if you stay close to that guy, it might also open up driving lanes. Does that make sense? So we're also, you know, it's pick your poison type of deal. Now we're playing against a team that could shoot the ball, and they started off really well. Again, they were really hot in the beginning, and then they got cold. And we, sometimes you play the percentages. Sometimes they don't work in your favor. Tonight they kind of worked in our favor in terms of trying to guard and try to keep the ball out of the paint, and for the meaning, meaning not giving up easy layups when I say not letting it get into the paint. I thought we did a pretty good job of that, um, but we didn't have anything special special for uh, Lions. If you know to answer your question, no. Yes, Coach. And uh, speaking of offensive rebounds, I noticed a couple of uh, defensive player guys were hustling to get rebounds. One happened with Ty Forbes in there, where Chastain got two, and Fisher got one and got fouled. And then there was another where uh, Barry and Wellers also got two offensive. Well, I'm going to go back to your other question, which was, do I think that the guys are buying in? Right. So that would mean what? They're buying into the exactly. Offensive They're buying into the offensive rebound. Now, it takes, you have to go, I would love as a coach to have everything come together. But it might have to come together bit by bit, right? You might have a situation where we were turning the ball over at an astronomical rate, and now that might change. I don't know. We'll see the next game, right? Because we play Nevada. That's the top of the league. We'll see if we can hopefully take care of the ball against them. We've always been a pretty good rebounding team, right? But we did get out-rebounded tonight, but we've predominantly been a pretty good rebounding team. Now, what we didn't do well tonight when we had those cluster of offensive rebounds, we weren't able to convert. And that was the thing that kind of was hurting us. When we got the stops or when we got the offensive rebounds, we weren't able to put it back in for an easy layup, or we got fouled, we couldn't make the free throw. But I will take the effort in the offensive rebounding because that will put you in a position to win a game. All right, Coach. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Jalen, we'll take an opening statement from you about the game, and then we'll open it up to questions. And when we do, please direct your questions uh, at one of the players, please. Uh, I thought we played well as a team. Just didn't get enough stops towards the end of the game. Uh, left them open on a couple of threes. Also, thought we took a step in the right direction with uh, taking care of the ball. We only had nine for the game, but uh, it goes back to defending and rebounding at the end of the day, and we couldn't get, we couldn't do that to finish the game off. Questions.
mean, I've, I've been through this for five years now. Uh, I know what it takes. So uh, just keeping the young guys level-headed, me and Welly being captains, just keeping them level-headed and um, just playing as a team at the end of the day. And I think we did that. It's just that we got to pull a, we got to put a full game together, and we didn't do that at all. Question for Ryan. Um, apparently, they fell behind as much as 18 points in the first half without all the way back to even take a few leads in the second half. What was the team's mentality like uh, battling back? Oh, yeah, our mentality was just uh, get stops and uh, rebound. Um, so that's really what we just focused on uh, the whole time during that run. You know, they they hit, they were hitting threes. Um, they were just drilling threes, and so we just started. We were just saying get stops, and uh, the offense kind of came along too. Last fall, I mean, it's supposed to be a physical game, but how would you describe the physicality of today's game? And do you think that maybe got out of hand a little bit? Uh. I mean, every game's like that, really. I feel like Air Force is a uh, they they play hard, hard working team, and um, they play like dogs at the end of the day. And I guess a couple of calls didn't go our way with Keith with the flagrant foul, but uh, I just feel like every every game in conference like that. So I feel like our team's prepared for that. At the end of the day. Any other questions?